Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm actually going to be giving you guys kind of an overview on what I think of the Independence Day DLC pack. I did this video last week or whenever the hipster DLC was out and you guys seem to really like that video. So I kind of want to talk about the positives and negatives and what I really liked about this DLC. But before I get started, I'm actually going to be doing a Q&A with my girlfriend. So leave your comments in the comment section down below on questions you want me to ask for her. A good example of a question would be you know what does she think of my YouTube so something along those lines you know refrain from any silly or stupid ones and uh, I'm gonna be doing a video with her coming up so I thought you guys would enjoy that so definitely leave your comments in the comment section down below if you want to be a part of that and featured in that Q&A video so with that out of the way let's get started so the Independence Day DLC pack let's talk about the pros first I really like the two vehicles I think the Liberator monster truck is an awesome vehicle although I'm very disappointed in the fact that it cannot be customized and uh, I, I just like it in general. It's a huge truck. I don't like the price. The price is really dumb. You know, a quarter of a million dollars for a truck that you can't customize and you can't store in your garage, I think is a little bit far-fetched. And as far as the motorcycle, I'm slightly disappointed in that just because it's a reskinned police bike. I was really hoping for something totally new with the Sovereign uh, motorcycle by Western. So the vehicles are nice, but they do have some downfalls as well. I love all the clothing options. I think the patriotic themed clothing is very nice and it, it goes very well with not only the season, but I also thought it was kind of needed as well. I, I, I really like what it has added into Grand Theft Auto Online and what it has given us so far. Uh, I also like some of the other things that have been added in terms of the new weapons uh, the fireworks and the fact that the roller coaster and ferris wheel are going to be available for a while as well so i love those two things but a huge 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 downfall like the valentine's day, day dlc is that this is limited you know this isn't going to be forever and I, if i'm correct it looks like they're going to be taking away the firework launcher and all the other weapons as well so the musket and the fireworks also so it is unfortunate that that is the case and that they are going to be taking those away especially because the firework launcher is 60 grand so it is kind of expensive for a weapon and to see it get taken away like that is kind of disappointing but nevertheless it is a time dlc they are giving you to the middle of july to use this so you do get a lot of time out of it if you really want to use the firework launcher and the other weapons and as far as like the patches as far as fixing the UFO UFO exploits and uh, some car duplication glitches I really like those so no complaints in that category the only thing I'm not really too pleased with is a the price and B the length of time and in, in terms of limited ability uh, they were gonna be able to use this so is the Independence Day DLC a 10 out of 10 a home run no but I think it's around a seven, maybe a seven and a half in terms of DLC. So I really like it. It's not my favorite, but it's also not the worst that we've seen so far. And uh, I want to know what you guys have to think in the comment section down below as well. So two things, leave your questions for my girlfriend's Q&A that we're going to be doing. Hopefully sometime next week, we might be recording this over the weekend and you'll see that video later. And also leave your comments in the comment section down below on what you think of the DLC uh, in terms of the Independence Day and everything that comes along with it. So like I said, if you do like the video, push the thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe to see all my daily videos and other GTA 5 related of content. Other than that, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.